Welcome back in, everyone, to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. You haven't missed too much just yet. We're still in the first quarter and ready for a kickoff. now to send it away. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. So Miami coming out for their second drive, and they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the former Washington Husky. Here's Miles Gaskin. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Tua. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. Albert Wilson, the intended receiver there. But now it'll be third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. He's letting this one go for Fuller, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So on fourth down, the Dolphins' new punter for 2021, Michael Pilardi, on to punt. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 34. On play action, Allen sliding out of the pocket. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Here's second and nine. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Here's Hallett. That's caught by his tight end.
today from Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. This is the National Football League. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway from Atlanta. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And the Falcon offense about ready to go to work here for the first time. And leading them as he has since 2008 is the veteran quarterback, former MVP, Matt Ryan. And I think if there's one quarterback in the league who sometimes gets taken for granted, to me it's Matt Ryan because I think throughout his career, he's been consistently excellent. Frequent member of the 4,000-yard club, savvy veteran, knows how to throw the deep ball and create big plays, and yes, he will beat you from the pocket. The former Gamecock here, this is Mike Davis. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Well, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Hall. Shred and he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Chris Nagar now for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Now it's Patterson. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Matt Ryan and the Falcon offense set to get going again. And looking to erase his memory bank from his opening drive a moment ago that ended in a pick six for the first points of the ball game. And in my experience, a lot of quarterbacks, after throwing a pick six, the first thing they want to do is fire another one and get those points back immediately. But what really helps you get back in sync is a good, long, methodical drive, mixing the run and the pass, tamp things down a little bit. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 23. Back to the air, Ryan after the pick six. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Working with second and five now. Five, 
Ryan going to give this to Davis. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. On third down, Ryan caught right side, Davis. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion, but they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? The Falcons send out their punter. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Now the Jets about set to go here on the offensive side for the first time. And leading them out, Charles, the number two overall pick in this April's draft. It's Zach Wilson out of BYU. During the draft.